Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set which has a line graph given to us. It says that there are some cousins in the Ramanujan family. Each one of them gets a pocket money of rupees thousand per month. They made a New Year resolution that they will save this money in four piggy banks. The banks are QQRS, purchased by them on the eve of the New Year. Each cousin deposits exactly rupees thousand on the first day of the month. in one of the piggy banks okay so they can deposit in any one of the piggy banks there are four banks available to them all but one deposit the amount in the same piggy bank as the previous one now understand this language all but one all but one means that all deposit the amount in the same piggy bank as the previous one but one of them deposits in another bank okay so let us say <coughs> uh, let's say person x is depositing in p y is depositing in p z is depositing in p then a b c d some people are depositing like this right so uh, let's say all of them will continue to deposit one of them will change let's say uh, d deposits in some other bank in the next month rest all will be remain the same okay so d will change to uh, d will switch the bank others will remain in the same so only one of them changes the bank in a month that's what it means okay so rest all will deposit in the same bank now it says their grandfather calculates an index called distribution cost okay what is this distribution cost it is defined as the equal amount distributed to all cousins who contributed to that piggy bank in the month in case the picking piggy bank breaks during that month okay so it is defined as like uh, let's say there is there is some amount deposited in a bank and if that bank uh, the piggy bank breaks so all people will get that same amount during that month so for example uh, let's say uh, this bank the distribution cost is given as 4000 okay and suppose there are five people in it and uh, so basically the distribution cost is given we are not given the number of people we will have to figure out the number of people so suppose this bank breaks q breaks in the month of march so all people who have deposited the money in this bank will get 4000 each okay so each person let's say there are three people so each one of them will get 4000 okay so one thing we could figure out right these are multiples of 3 okay these things are multiples of 3 by uh, basic uh, arithmetic calculation you should know this so now we need to find out that how many cousins are there in this family and uh, subsequent that who deposited it which bank in which month okay now let us understand one logic here the logic is if the number of people so it is given that each cousin deposits exactly rupees 1000 in one of the banks so there are four banks pqrs suppose uh, in january february march and april suppose a number of people b number c and d number of people deposit in this bank so the number will remain same two of the numbers will remain same let us say one person changes the deposit right some an extra person changes the deposit so what will happen one person will reduce the deposit from one of these banks okay suppose it becomes d minus 1 and the other two remain same okay or it could happen that one person like there is change of only one person out of these so what will happen is if a person continues to deposit in the same bank right so what will happen the amount deposited will be 1000 more so if the average amount is 1000 per person it should become 2000 okay so that means there is no change in bank r and also in bank q so r and q the amounts have not changed okay so r and q this number remains same now if the average increases what is average average is sum upon number of values so if the average increases that means the number of values reduces that means lesser number of people have deposited in that bank and if uh, <coughs> the number uh, goes up so average goes down that means more people have deposited because now it is being distributed to more people so ideally the average should increase by 1000 like if you see 2000 to 33333 so this number remains same whereas like if you see 2000 to 4000 that means fewer people have deposited in that bank so obviously the average will increase when there are less people and average will increase if there are more people okay so in the first month 
like <coughs> these two q and r remain as 1000 only so it means that the number of persons has increased by uh, increased by 1 in case of s and reduced by so the, suppose the number of people who are a b c d so the number of persons has become d plus 1 because one extra person has changed and this will become a minus 1 so basically one person who was depositing in p has now deposited in d right so others <coughs> others will continue to deposit in the same way so one person has shifted from this bank to this bank okay so that's what the logic says now uh, if you see uh, like this become two triple three okay so that means there are three bank three persons in uh, uh, your bank p three so there must have been four people in the first month so you want to verify let's check it so four people means four thousand in the first month okay three people mean three thousand in the second month total is seven thousand and now there are just three people so each person will get two thousand three hundred thirty three so we have got this number this is four here and three here okay four and three now if you see next month it has become three three so this remains remains same so p remains same now next month the average should have been four triple three okay but it has reduced so that means one more person has deposited in this bank because if the number increases that means and we can verify also so triple three into three means ten thousand is there and now four people deposit so the deposit is now fourteen thousand and when we divide by 4, it becomes 3500. So, this means we have done it for bank P. Okay, so we have figured out then how many people deposited in bank P in each of the months. Now, we will do the same activity for D because we can figure out the number here. The number is 1750 and the number increased by 1. Okay, now 1750, if you take 2 times, that becomes 3500, which is not a multiple of 1000. Okay. If you multiply by 4, it becomes 7000. So, let us see that if it matches. So, first month, if there are 3 people and the next month there are 4 people. So, there are total 7000 is deposited and divided by 4, it will be 1750. So, the number is 3 in the first month and becomes 4 in the next month. Okay. Then, if we see uh, S in the third month, it is 2750. So, that means the number remains same here. Okay. Now here, it should have been 3750 in the month of uh, April, but it has, the average has gone up. So average has gone up, that means one fewer person has deposited. So three people have deposited here. So we can verify the answer also. See, if you uh, take this number here, okay, so uh, 3, 7, 7, uh, 7, 4, 11, 11 by 4 is 275 okay and 11 3 14 14 divided by 3 is 4 6 6 7 so it also makes sense so we have covered for bank s also right so p and s are done we need to do with q and r now q here uh, if you look at the second month this q is 2000 third month it is 2 uh, sorry if it is look at uh, the bank r okay it is easy to figure out for this so, R the bank here is 2000 and it has become 2333. So, average has gone down. So, average has gone down that means number of people has increased. Now, it should be a multiple of 3. So, let us take in R there are 3 people in this and there is an increase. So, like by just guessing if you see 223. So, first month 2000 and 2 people. So, average is 1000. Second month 2000. Uh, for total 4000 divided by 2 that is 2000 now total 7000 divided by 3 that is 2 triple 3 so that makes sense and fourth month there is no change so this number is 2233 3. okay now we will look at the last person that is bank q so first month 1000 any number of people it will not change second month 2000 third month it is 4000 okay so third month it is 4000 from 2000 to 4000 so that means the number of people has reduced okay reduced by one so suppose there are n people uh, like b number of people here so in uh, two months they have deposited so this is 2b into 1000 so uh, 2000b 
and in this month like it is b minus 1 people who have invested so it becomes b minus 1 into 1000 so 1000 b minus 1000 okay this is the total investment till this date and how many people are there now b minus 1 so b minus 1 that becomes equal to 4000 okay so we can remove the thousands and simplify the calculation so this becomes 3b minus 1 is equal to 4b minus 4 okay so this gives us b is equal to 3 so let us put and check so if we put 3 people here so 3 people means 3000 in the first month 3 people here total 6000 okay 6000 divided by 3 2000 is the average okay now there are two people depositing so total is 8000 and average distribution is 4000 and it is increasing by 2000 which is uh, like increasing by 1000 that means the number does not change here okay so we have two people and the total amount deposited here is 10000 so that makes sense now we will just verify that if all the values are matching okay so this was four and one of the persons shifted from uh, this bank to this bank so now it became four and it remains same so this remains same this remains same one of the persons invested in this bank next month so that becomes two and three now these two values remain same one of the persons deposited in this bank so it, they become four and three so the numbers match perfectly and we can now calculate all the values you can check for the values and get the results now let us look at the questions how many cousins are there in the family so we have total of 7 plus 5 12 people in the family which piggy bank had the least amount in january so although the average was same we had to find the number of people so if you see r had just 2000 rupees in the month of january which piggy bank had the highest amount in april right so in april we have 4233 3. now some people might be tempted to answer 5000 because they see that the average is highest and might mark s but see there are only two people right so uh, yeah, sorry three people this is correct so that is uh, s may this is not s this is q q has two people so it is 10000 if you look at s s has three people so into 3 is 14000 then if you look at P, P has 4 people into 4 is again 14,000 and uh, we have R as 3 so it becomes 10,000 okay. So highest is in both these two so more than one of the above okay. So we have uh, P as well as S they have 14,000 each okay. So they have there are more than one of the above. What was the highest amount deposited in a piggy bank in a single month? So highest value where we see is 4. So uh, like maximum 4000 are deposited in a single piggy bank. If in May all but one deposit the amount in the same piggy bank as in April, what could be the least amount accumulated in piggy bank P? So piggy bank P has uh, 14000 and here there are 4 depositors. We need to tell the least amount accumulated. So the same conditions follow, 1% can change, okay. So if uh, we need to find the least amount, so even if 1% changes, at least 3 will be deposited here. So 14,000 are already deposited, we can make it 17,000. So the answer to this question is 17,000. So this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions. I hope you loved solving this set.